Take a look at the English Premier League highest goal scorer table and you would see a different name. I am 100% sure that not the biggest talent scouts or the greatest football analyst in world football could have predicted that in his first full season as a first team player, 21 year old Cole Power would be on the same goals as Ellen Haaland while playing for a team that received 9th position in the Premier League table. It is fair to say that Cole Palmer has hit the Premier League by storm. But how did we get here? How did Chelsea sign a potentially world class superstar for just £40 million? And how did world class coach Pep Guardiola let this superb talent slip away from his hands? Follow us through the ride as we take you through the journey and the rise of ice cold Palmer. So, after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, at first former Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich to sell his beloved club, a lot of Chelsea fans felt that a period of darkness would be over them. Ruled in May 2022, Chelsea had new owners. Todd Bully and Clearly Capital had purchased the club for over £4 billion and they made a simple promise to make the fans proud. Well, the new era isn't even two years old and Chelsea had spent over £1 billion to purchase over 30 new players and yet, the fans aren't proud. The huge financial outlay has only yielded a 12th place finish last season and battling to stay in the top half of the English Premier League table this season. But amidst all the doom and gloom of Chelsea's transfer inefficiency, the one bright light has been Cole Palmer. When Chelsea signed Cole Palmer from Manchester City for a reported £42 million deal in the summer of 2024, people raised their eyebrows with a lot of complaints that Chelsea have been signing too many kids with high potential but still kids nonetheless, but all those statements have been well and truly forgotten this season as Palmer has proved to be a god amongst Chelsea fans. His unique high school celebrations has been a thing of joy for Chelsea fans this season and one of the few positives of the season so far. It all started far back on 6th May 2002 when Marie and Jermaine Palmer, two lovebirds, gave birth to a boy. His name was Cole Palmer. And like many professional footballers these days, Palmer's love for football came from his father, who was a full-time dentist and a part-time pro football player. His dad always took him to watch his Sunday league teams play football, and Palmer grew up with the noise, the sweat, and the shout of football fans willing their teams to score a goal. And like any other child born in Manchester in the early 2000s, Palmer grew up watching football, and there was only one team he supported growing up. It was not Chelsea, neither was it Manchester City. Palmer grew up being a passionate supporter of Manchester United, and his footballing idol was Wayne Rooney. On his birthdays, Palmer usually gets the same gifts, a football boot, a new football and a customized Manchester United jersey. All this set Cole Palmer on a career path to being a professional footballer and luckily for him, he had the talents to be one. Palmer's football story started with his father taking him to the park every day in the evenings to play football. On the grass, Palmer owned the skills and was scouted and joined a local youth team. And when he was 8 years old, his talents caught the eyes of the big Manchester teams, United and City. If left to Palmer, he would have chosen United definitely, but luckily for him, his father made the decisions. Jermaine Palmer, noticing that Manchester City had better training facilities and offered a better football pathway into the first team for Cole, made a decision for his son to sign for Manchester City. And in Palmer's early City days, his love for Manchester United still showed. Underneath his sky blue city jersey, Palmer would still sneak in some red undergarments or United shin pads while going to city trainings. But all this never stopped him. Whenever United and City had a youth game, Palmer still went on to smash the local United teams, scoring goals and dribbling through the small opposition defenders like the Wakons. And while playing for the Manchester City youth team, Cole Palmer started attracting attention for two things. Firstly, his size. You see, despite Palmer being 6'2 now and playing for Chelsea, Palmer was really small for his age and he was always the smallest kid on the pitch, with the City under 14 jerseys looking very baggy on him. This made a lot of people question whether this small boy could really make a career out of football. But the second thing that stands out was his ability on the ball. Despite not being the strongest or the fastest or the tallest, it was almost impossible to get the ball off little Cole Palmer. He continually ran rings around opposition defenders looking like he was way older than them. But over the years, Cole Palmer grew physically and mentally. And with the dedication and hard work he had been putting in, Palmer's talents began to shine. In 2019, Cole Palmer was made captain of the city on the 18th side and went on to lead the team to the youth league title as well as a cup victory. And finally, after consistently outperforming the youth team, Pep Guardiola noticed and invited him up to the first team training. 
The young shy Cole Palmer suddenly found himself training with world-class talents like Vincent's company, Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez and Phil Foden. But with the enormous talents Palmer possessed, he was never out of place. In September 2020, Guardiola gave Palmer his debut in the EFL Cup against Burnley. Palmer's parents, friends and family expected him to eat it up from there and become a key player for Manchester City. But it didn't work out that way. The next couple of years for Paul Palmer was very frustrating. After training with the first team players, Guardiola would still not play Palmer in Premier League matches or even cup matches for that and Palmer still had to go back to the under-19s to play. But in the summer of 2023, through passion, determination and sheer force of will, Palmer scored in the UEFA Super Cup against Sevilla and then just a few days later, he went on to score the winner in the Community Shield against Arsenal. These goals immediately put the name Cole Palmer on the lips of every top team and top scout in world football. And Palmer was finally ready to take his place in Manchester City squad. But with the competition for playing time at Manchester City massive, Palmer had to take a step, a step that Pep Guardiola defines as unforgivable. When the 2023-2024 summer transfer window was coming to an end, Palmer asked to see Pep Guardiola in his office. In the discussion, he told Pep Guardiola to either play him more in the new season or let him leave for the sake of his career. Mind you, Cole Palmer had never been out of the City Football Academy setup throughout his life. He was signed as an 8-year-old, never went out on loan, not even when players of his age group went out looking for playing time, Palmer was always in the City Academy. He only left City whenever it was time for vacation or for the England youth teams. So asking to be sold or played really was a big deal for the small kid. He showed tremendous bravery and confidence in his ability. But Pep Guardiola probably saw this the wrong way because the next thing Palmer knew, he was speaking on the phone with a certain Mauricio Pochettino who was explaining how he would be a great fit for his new Chelsea project. The next day, Palmer was due to travel to London, join a new club and embrace a new way of life, playing style and teammates while being 200 miles away from home. And in a few days, it was official, Chelsea assigned Cole Palmer. And the boy from White and Shaw has made a place for himself in London. And it's still very early days in Cole Palmer's Chelsea's career as his contract runs for seven years. But on current evidence, Chelsea might have just the bargain of the summer, having the next superstar on their ends for just £40 million. Pounds. In a transitional season for Moshe Pochettino's Chelsea, Palmer has been the one consistent player. Consistently outperforming big name players such as Ryan Sterling, Enzo Fernandez, Moses Casado, Conor Gallagher, and so much more. And now becoming the first Chelsea midfielder since Frank Lampard to score 20 goals in the season for Chelsea, Palmer's potential seemed limitless. But unlike most players with such an abundance of talent, Palmer's attitude is still exceptional. Off the pitch, he is described as shy, humble, and somebody who doesn't want to grab the spotlight. But on the pitch, his performances says exactly the opposite of that. The fight and determination Cole Palmer has shown since he was a child to making it in the city's world-class academy and now becoming Chelsea's highest goal-scoring midfielder is a testament to the super talent Palmer is. His hunger for goals, highlighted by the recent penalty post-up involving his teammates Nonne Madueke and Nicholas Jackson, should be nurtured. Though tempered with a bit of maturity and leadership, but Palmer has what it takes to be the next big team. With his impressive form for Chelsea, Palmer already got his first England call-up and you can be very sure that that won't be the last. Cole Palmer seems to be set on his way to Germany for Euros 2024 and you can bet that he's not going to be faced by the opposition or the occasion. This is England's next superstar in the making and he has the talent to rub it alongside the likes of Phil Foden, Bukayo Saka, Jude Bellingham and Harry Kane. So that is all about the origins and the rise of Chelsea's Cole Palmer. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and check out our other videos. Drop a like, drop a comment in the comment section for a player you'd like to see me do next and until then.